Hi everyone, this is Sean from Glow3D. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use Glow3D free background removal for cars going into 2024. With that said, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is to log into glow3d.net. And once you log in, you will go to background removal section. Here, you will have two options of batch and single. First, we start with batch. You could upload a set of photos. Here, I'll just drag and drop all the photos. It could be a mix of interior, exterior. Here, you can change the background. Choose from a library of 200 background images we have from outdoor, indoor, simple, fantasy, sea views, or you could simply upload your own background. You could also go options like blur, white, gray, or you could do what we call half cut, but we keep the floor and then we change the background to let this stock go white or blur. For now, I'm gonna just keep the background as the image. Then you could also upload your own header, footer. You could turn them off if you don't like to have them, or you could turn them on, or you could actually give it transparency. So for now, we are going to keep both header and footer to see the end result. And here you choose what background you want for the close-up photos. Um, we have two options of white and gray. My favorite is white. And once you have all the images uploaded, all you need to do is say remove background. It will take about one to two minutes to remove the background. While that is happening, you can check your emails, go look at other websites, do other things while it is doing. The only requirement is not to close this Chrome tab. You can go open other windows, work with other softwares, just keep this open in the background. There you go, the download is complete. We just complete our download. Depends on how you set up, it will either directly download it to your download folder or it will ask you where to download it. It very much depends on what your setup is for all the downloads you have in your browser. So let's extract it. Let's view it through the large icon. And as you can see, the background is fully removed, all the interiors, we have white background. Now let's look at the single background removal image. But the single background removal is a very similar process, except you have more options of adding a virtual turntable here. You can choose the aspect ratio, the resolution, and you can upload an image. Let's just go with the same image. Let's use this one. Here, you can change the background similar to batch. You could change the virtual turntable here. You could choose different edge. Okay, edge ring, light ring, and dark ring. In general, you want to use a darker ring. I'll choose this one uh, because you want to create a frame. And here you can choose to have, I would typically recommend to have a darker floor. We'll make it much more realistic. Or you could just turn off the virtual turntable if you don't like to have it, like this. You could also change the header and footer like we covered it in batch. Here you can adjust the size to your liking. You could rotate to different directions. And once everything is set, you could just say download result. And it's gonna be downloaded super quick. This is the result. I hope you guys uh, enjoy using it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. We're making this free for car dealerships in North America, but if you're not in North America or you're not a car dealership and you still like to use it, it will be just 10 cents per image. So you can still find the link in the comment description or somewhere in our website, book a meeting with our team and they will activate your account. If you're a car dealerships, it will be a free account. We also have so many other softwares that the team can go over, and but you do not need to purchase anything from us to be able to use the service. We also have extensive tutorial video that is about 20 minutes and goes through the detailed process with a lot more explanation that I recommend you guys watching it. You can find that in our YouTube channel or you look at the comments or descriptions of this video if you're watching it in YouTube. With that said, thank you for watching.